Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm thrilled to show you an incredible PS2 emulator for iOS devices that allows you to relive some of your favorite retro games right on your iPhone or iPad. If you've been looking for a way to enjoy those classic PS2 titles, you're in the right place. First, let's open up the emulator so you can see it in action. As you can see, it runs perfectly, even on older devices like my trusty old iPhone. Now, you might be wondering about the installation. The great news is that it's super easy to set up. You don't need to jailbreak your device or do anything complicated. This emulator is designed to be user-friendly and straightforward. All you need to do is watch this video and follow each step I show you. All right, if you're ready to dive into some retro gaming fun, let's get started with the tutorial. Make sure you follow along closely, and soon enough, you'll be enjoying all those classic PS2 games right on your iOS device. Let's get into it. First, let's start by adjusting a couple of settings to optimize your device for this app. Head into your settings, tap on General, and make sure that Background App Refresh is turned on, either for Wi-Fi or for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. This ensures the app can run smoothly in the background. Next, swing by your battery settings and switch off Low Power Mode. This feature can slow down your device, which we definitely don't want happening. With these two settings tweaked, you're all ready to move on to the next step. What you need to do next is open up your internet browser, in my case it's Safari, and go to the website called rocketmods.com. Rocket Mods is a website where you can find many apps and games with amazing features. Once you are on the website, search for PS2 emulator and click on it. Here you will see some information about the app. To start the download, click on the green button and wait some time for the installation to finish. However, there is one more step that you need to complete before you can finish the installation. This step may vary depending on your device model and operating system, and usually involves some pretty simple steps. Don't worry, this step is very easy and quick, and there will be a video tutorial on how to complete it. Just follow the instructions, and you should be fine. So, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.